everyone, welcome to my channel. Can you see my Christmas tree over there? I know it's very, very far and it's really, really difficult to see, but it is. There goes my Christmas tree. It's lighting up right now and it looks so beautiful. So, yay! Anyway, today I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial kind of look. It's called Neutral Glam and it's perfect for the holiday season and it's also perfect for every day. And it's perfect when you have like these beauties on your lips because this is gonna emphasize the eyes and make them at the focus of the look so that nobody will look at your lips and notice that there's something beautiful on there. So yay! Now I'm gonna grab my uh, MAC and In Maquillage palette and I'm gonna use this color right here to set my eye base. So yay! I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage shading brush as always because this is the best combination to kind of top up the color and make it dry which will in turn make blending the crease shades so much easier and so much more crease proof. Next on my eyes I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which I haven't used in a video in ages, but it's secretly I've been using it every day. So, all right, I am gonna take the warm side. I'm gonna take this color right here with my Smashbox crease brush, and I'm gonna apply it all over my crease. And it's just gonna give me like the nicest transition color you can possibly ever, ever, ever ask for. Just, oh, I love this shade. And I believe it's called Ludwin. So Ludwin, you're doing Carol a ton of good lately. How beautiful that eyeshadow looks against my eyes that just gives tiny little bit of definition and it's really really beautiful. Next I'm gonna take this um a neutral shadow from the neutral part and I believe it's called Sam Samuel Samane uh, something with S that ends with an L and there's nothing else like this. And um, I'm gonna take it with the same brush I'm gonna pack it on I'm gonna kind of apply it right at the center and then blend it to the both uh, the inner and outer corner. But I want it to mainly be focused on the center of the crease. Now I'm gonna take my MAC um, 217, which is clean. I'm gonna kind of just blend everything. I'm gonna go back to my um, palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here with the um, shading brush and I'm going to um, apply it as a sort of another way of transitioning just to soften the edges of the shade that I applied some will some smile smile whatever it is that you want to call it. Okay, pausing from both palettes, I'm gonna grab my Koopa um, Vamp uh, Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in the shade 200, which looks like this. And we're gonna use the same applicator that is provided in the actual pan. And I'm gonna apply it in the inner kind of third of my eye. And for once I feel like I've actually been finding these sponge applicators kind of useful, which isn't bad at all. Next for eyes, I'm gonna grab my favorite uh, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade um, 21, Sahara Treasure which is like a gold, khaki, green, bronze sort of shade. And I'm gonna grab my MAC 
239 and I'm gonna apply it right in the center of the eye. Just look at this. Okay, next I'm gonna take uh, my slightly dirty um, 217 and I'm gonna dip it just a little bit into the really red toned brown and I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna apply it in the crease. I'm gonna blend as it go in round circular motions. Oh, so much love. And then I'm going to take my um, crease brush by um, Smashbox and blend, 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 blend. What's it called? Fluff brush with the darkest brown in the neutral or in the warm um, quad, sort of, sort of, yeah, sort of quad, let's say. I'm going to apply it. on the outer third I'm gonna blend using this crease brush by Smashbox Anything got a little bit less intense, just go back and intensify it and then blend it again. I'm gonna re intensify the Sahara Treasure, the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow that I used in the center, and I'm gonna clean out the fallouts that I have underneath my eyes and I will be back to finish this look. I felt like you really couldn't see the Christmas tree right here so I lit up the background so that I can actually really really truly see it because I'm just so obsessed with it. Right, now is the time where you decide whether you want to make a winged liner or not. I am generally not the kind to do winged liners so I'm gonna skip it for now. And I'm gonna go with Nylon by MAC, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with it. Some people like to start with concealer. I am one of them. So I'm gonna apply my concealer underneath my um, eye. Yeah, underneath my eyes and on anywhere that needs to be concealed. I know I apply a little too much concealer, but it makes a difference. Because I don't want to contaminate the sponge, I'm gonna take my bra my uh, my finger, oh my god, and I'm gonna apply it on this area right here, which is really, really, really terrible. And uh, I'm not sure what has caused it to look so terrible, but it's gonna get concealed, which is always a great thing. So I'm going to start by concealing underneath my eyes. I'm not going to touch this yet. I'm going to let it sit on my skin for a while so that it gets kind of a little bit more dry and thick and covery. And for now I'm going to start by blending my face concoction which happens to start with a glow maximizer by Dior. I love this thing. It's really, really nice. I'm going to take like a pump. Like, I'd say three quarters of a pump actually. A pump would be a little bit too much. I'm gonna take my lingerie depot. I have a sample of it, but I do have a brand new bottle that I'm waiting um, to start using after I finish this. I take like a pump and I take a couple, like, I'd say five um, dots of the 
uh, Nude Air by Dior, which is one of my favorite foundations in the universe, along with Angelica Pink. Think I this is just such a beautiful combo. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna start blending. And as you can see, I'm not shy when it comes to applying my foundation. To further conceal my under eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, Precious Light by Guerlain. And I'm kind of running low, but I need to repurchase very, very soon. But I'm going to use whatever product I have left in it because I really like this product a lot. needs more concealer as I predicted I'm gonna need more I had originally anticipated to bring uh, my thicker concealer but since I haven't brought it with me I'm just gonna need to apply more on the areas that need more and before I blend it just to make it dry a little bit I'm gonna powder underneath my eyes and um, the majority of my face I'm gonna leave this for last I'm gonna use my meteorites powder because I'm very original and I love so many other powders in the universe that I just only use this Going back to the eye, I'm going to take a more precise brush, like my uh, uh, Bobbi Brown Ice Smudge, Ice Smudge brush. I'm going to dip it into Ludwin, I believe, yes. I'm going to apply it all over my lower lash line, because I like it. And it just gives like some warmth which is just so pretty I really 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 like it and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the kind of red toned brown just like a tiny bit and I'm gonna apply it on the outer corner and then I'm gonna go back to MAC nylon with the brush that I used which is um, fluff or shading by El Maquillage. I'm gonna apply it in the inner tear duct area. And I like to be very generous with this. I just think that it makes a huge difference in an eye look. And I love it. So I'm not shy when it comes to using this eyeshadow. I'm very, very generous. I've got the eyes done and I concealed. I know that you could still see it, but that's what it is. Alright, now I'm going to contour a little bit my face. I'm going to use my favorite uh, product to contour with, which looks very, very dark. But if you use it sparingly, you can easily get away with it. I'm going to use the Il Maquillage kind of gray brown, I believe it's called. Um, and I'm going to use it with my uh, MAC um, 109, I believe. I'm going to use it very, very sparingly. So I'm going to just tap my brush very very lightly and I'm gonna kind of apply it on the hollows or the non-existent hollows of my cheeks. I'm gonna start really really far, take it a little bit high and then I'm gonna blend and then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush like this one which I often use for bronzer. I reach this kind of 
super blended contour. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side, obviously, because we can't go with one cheekbone and none, but of no contouring action. You've got to contour both sides, my friends. Don't forget that. Very important tip. Worth millions of dollars. I'm gonna stop using this for now and I'm gonna go and use something else that I truly am very, very obsessed with, even though the powder is very fragile. And it's actually my um, Shadow Silvery Foam Star Bronze and Glow. And I'm gonna take my bronzer heavily and really work it into the contours and blending everything. The top of my forehead, going back, blending some more. And you can see the difference that this thing makes. It is absolutely phenomenal. I love it a lot. All right, we're gonna take a little bit on my jawline. Make sure that my forehead is really, really blended along with my nose. All right, to highlight my nose, I'm gonna take the same brush that I used with the initial contour dust of any excess powder that there might be left on it. I'm going to take the highlight in the same palette. I'm going to kind of start with the tip and make my way upwards and blend, blend, blend. I'm going to take a little bit of it between my brows and right over here, above every individual brow, take a little bit on my cheekbones. You've got to highlight both cheeks and a little bit on my chin. And with a finger, I'm going to apply it on the cupid bow. And if this is not intense enough for you, Give me a second to show you how to make this even more in depth. It's been a while since I used my Gaia bronzer slash highlighter. It's more of a highlighter. And today is the time that I'm going to use it because it's the festive season where highlight needs to be on super fleek. And I'm not going to apply this all over my face. I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbone because it's like very, very intense. And I'm only going to work, so no need for super sleekness. I'm gonna apply a tiny little bit of my Pupa Lumis Baked All Over as a blush, and then I'm gonna apply my lip products, which I have quite a few for today, but I'm gonna take my blush brush, which is MAC 116, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna dip it into the bronzy side and the peachy side and the highlighty side. Top up any excess, apply it on the apples of the cheeks, backwards. And by the way, obviously you can apply fake lashes. Uh, but again, I'm just going to work, so no fake lashes. For Finally, me. lips. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with a lip liner. This is Spice by Il Maquillage. I know that there are so many lip liners that are called Spice. Honestly, you know, I don't need I don't need a lot of Spice lip liners in my life. I just need one. And this is the one that I happen to have. I'm gonna apply my Romal Kate Moss in C3. I'm gonna use the Romal Apocalypse in Out of This World, which is slightly pinky. As you can see, it's very pinky. But if you apply it sparingly, it's just going to give your lips that little bit more life and three dimension. And it's just going to be, going to be, it's just going to be very complimentary to that general look. This is actually the finished look. I personally 
adore it. I just think it's really, really beautiful. I love the eyes. I just think that they're very kind of glam, and but yet neutral. I just love the face. I love the contouring. And that highlight is like <laughs> beautiful. So that is all for today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this in the future, make sure that you give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always and if you have any comments or any requests for um, more kind of eye makeups or tutorials in the future, make sure that you leave them in the comments bar down below. I read all of your comments which aren't very many lately but I still read them and I always reply. So thank you so very much for watching and until next time, I hopefully will see you all very very soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.